Alright, what's going on guys? So as you guys can see, I'm taking them off, but it's probably not the proper way of taking these off. But at the end of the day, as you guys can see, I broke the tab uh, here. Broke the tab there. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Saunders Lifestyle. Today's another day. If you haven't yet, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, man. Go ahead and give me a like, share, comment at the end of this video. And uh, let's go ahead and get into why I got you guys on here today. So today I got a, uh, came in the mail, which was my uh, snorkels for my grill, for my Hellcat. I got some color match red, torrid red uh, snorkels for it. So ordered them to, uh, from Scalia, Scalia Motorsports. I could be wrong. How I'm saying that, but that's where I order them from. Um, by no means am I uh, advertising for them, but at the end of the day, that's where I order them from. So I know a lot of people ask me where I order some some of my stuff for 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 my cars, and that's where I order these from. So uh, I'm kind of excited because I want to see what they look like. I wonder if I have to take the entire grill off to put them on. I'm hoping I don't have to. I'm hoping I can just pull uh, the 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 old ones out by maybe hitting the tabs but we'll see what happens so uh without further ado let me go ahead and get this open unbox this show you guys what i got in my box let's go get this thing open show you what i got in here So, scaliamotorsport.com. That's where I got it from. They gave me some cool stickers, decals. I'm sorry, got the got the camera. I got pointed down so you guys can see what I got here. So, that came in there. Another sticker, innovative design, Scalia Motorsports, out of Uncastville, uh, Connecticut. So, and they give you a lot of stickers and decals, and uh, it's a pretty cool card. Just check that out. Oh, another car. All right, let's get to it though. So, uh, made in uh, doesn't say China, it says California. So, genuine, genuine mo uh, parts and accessories. Mopar, what's that guy say? Mopar, y'all seen those commercials? I know y'all seen it. So, uh, yeah, man, looks pretty good so far. Let's see. The wrappage is pretty good, came in a nice box. They said it came through USPS, um, so they package it pretty well. Look at that, boy, that looks so good. Scallion Motorsports, they put their decal over the original part. So now I can see where the tabs are, but I don't know if I can reach around. I might can reach around them and just take them off without having to take the grill off. So let me see if I can reach in this one. Pull that one, yeah, I can tab that one, tab that one. So hopefully I don't have to take the entire grill off. I think the uh, paint on it looks pretty good. For the most part, let me show you guys, it looks good. So that's one of them. Let me see what the other one looks like just to make sure the other one's good as well. You said they package them pretty good in, on here, in here. So. so make sure they ain't send me an orange one and a red one. And voila, there's a second one. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can probably bring the Hellcat around and uh, get these installed real quick, show you guys what they look like. Um, but for the most part, it's definitely what I expected. Uh, it's gonna pop that grill a bit more, but I plan on putting my own little touch on it. What I wanna do is uh, I wanna white vinyl wrap just the edge of this to match the, uh, the car, the stripe, the rims. As you guys can see, man, my Hellcat is crazy when it comes to the scheme i got going on with it some say i got a lot going on some say i don't some say they hate it some say they like it but guess what i'm gonna tell you straight up 
I could care less. It's my ride, my car, my money. That's what I do with my car. So, um, yeah, other than that, that was the unboxing of the uh, snorkels. And uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, bring that Hellcat around real quick, uh, take the car cover off, see if I can get these snapped in real quick, give you guys a quick glimpse of what it looks like. Um, once this weekend comes, hopefully this weekend, the weather is nice enough, I can give you guys a full walk around with the Forge Yattos on there and everything else, because I know a lot of people have been asking me, hey, where's the video at? We've seen pictures, I've seen it on Instagram. It's, I ain't gonna say it's going viral, but a lot of folks are seeing it and it's being pushed out on different uh, IG car enthusiast pages and stuff like that. And uh, yes, I'm American, living over here in the UK, as I told you guys before. Um, the car is over here in the UK, so it's not in the States. So it is a bit different driving that car here with it being that loud. And I'm not talking about just the motor, I'm talking about just the car in general, uh, what it looks like. Uh, that's just me in general. If you guys know me, if you guys seen all my cars that I've had in the past years, decades back, I'm always about being myself and uh, at the same time doing what I like. And I just like my cars to be loud. I like it to pop. I like it to be like, hey, I'm here. You know what I mean? So uh, without further ado, man, let me stop rambling along. Let me get this car around, see if I can pop these on for you guys, show you guys how I'm gonna put them on, snap them in, hopefully they snap in without any issues, and then give you guys a quick uh, view of what the front of it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and get it. Damn, as you guys can see, it's dark as hell already out, man. And uh, I can't show you how the hell, I can't show you how the Jeep because I ain't done with it. <clears throat> but I got the Hellcat parked up here now. As you guys can check it out real quick, give you a quick glimpse. No folks trying to see it on video. But man, that thing looking good. That poor job to set it off. So, I still gotta order the uh, tire stickers for the front. But man, it looks so good. But uh, yeah, I didn't bring you guys on to show you the whole car yet. Uh, I brought you guys on, so I'm gonna do these snorkels, right? So I'm gonna change these out. These are the black original snorkels. But after looking at it, it looks like it's pretty easy. I, what I'm gonna end up doing is just popping this cover off right here. I think I'm able to reach around uh, from the backside right here to, to undo the tabs, because I definitely don't wanna break nothing. Um, and it looks like I have plenty of room once I take this off. Uh, so I'll pop these off with the, the little rivet thing. Not the rivet thing, but this little tool right here I got. I'll show you guys what I got here. Can't show you how the Jeep, man. I'm working on it still. But uh, this tool right here, I should just pop these out. Come on, I'm trying to video it. Boom, too easy. One, two, three. Oh, from this side, get it from this side. Four. Put a lot of tabs on here, right? The hold is done. I can't see the opening. Oh, there it is. Right there. Five. So I just yank all these out. Right here, here. So to me, it seems like a pretty straightforward install, but you know, nothing's ever easy. And as you guys see, uh, when I did my heater on my uh, third gen, I thought it was gonna be easy install, but it took me a little longer because it's tight screws there. these out Get our count out. as you see my engine is a little dirty not really dirty just dusty I like to try to keep the whole car clean man that is a B Woody intake for those asking me probably want to ask on my comments um, I think they have another one, JLT, if I'm not mistaken. That one actually gives you some horsepower. This one, to me, I think they say, from my reading on the forums, it's more or less just to give you that sound from the uh, wine of the supercharger. So, And that's what I was looking for, for is the wine from the supercharger. So that looks like it pops off. Boom. We'll put that cover piece right there on the, on the uh, supercharger itself and get these screws out of the way. Make sure they're not out the way. Sit them right here on this table. All right, this cover should come right off. We'll see. Nothing ever happens that way. Eh, of course, I told you guys, nothing ever happens that way. I've never taken this off, so I don't know if it pops off. Definitely don't want to break nothing. Um, I wonder if it's connected all to the to the front of the bumper. 
some way somehow. Of course. We think that it should just pop right off, but it seems like it's connected to the to the bumper. Let me put you guys down, try to figure this out. But like I said, man, nothing ever easy, right? I told you guys that. So let me see if that cover can just come off without me having to take the whole bumper off. Because if it does, it makes it a whole lot easier putting the snorkels on. So let me try to get to it. I'll, get, I'll turn you guys back on here in a second. So as you guys can see, I'm taking them off, but it's probably not the proper way of taking these off. But at the end of the day, as you guys can see, I broke the tab uh, here. Broke the tab there. But at the end of the day, you can solder these back, plastic solder them back and pop them back in. It shouldn't come out. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, I'm not too concerned because the new ones should just pop right back in. And I am not taking the entire grill off or the whole bumper off just to put some snorkels on. So leave it in the comments below. I'm sure some people are going to uh, tell me what's the proper way of doing it. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to get this done. It's cold and, and I don't plan on keeping these. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let me yank, yank, yank both sides off, put the new ones in, turn you guys back on, show you guys what it looks like. All right, as you guys can see, like I said, the tabs were snapped by me pulling it the way I pulled it. Uh, I definitely didn't damage anything when it comes to the housing of the snorkel. So uh, these, as you guys can see, there's still a little, well, you probably won't be able to see, but there's still little tabs here, here and here. Uh, that's going to uh, hold these in. So, um Go ahead and pop these in real quick. Pop this one in while I got you guys on the camera. Damn, that already looks good. Let me put the camera down for a second just so I don't um, break these tabs. Look at them snorkels. God, it looks so good. You guys let me know. Should I put white here on the outside to match the stripe? God, it looks good. I got my fingerprints all on it, but it's all good. I'll polish the car up this weekend before I give it a full video for you guys. Let me go ahead and knock out this other side and I'll turn you guys back on. All right, guys. So I got the snorkels on. Tell me what you guys think. Got them on both sides. Probably can't see this side, it's dark as hell out here, man. So man, it actually looks good. But what I need to do is, so I don't forget, let me pop these uh, pins back in that I took out earlier. Got a couple of them I need to push back in. So I ain't gonna bore you guys with putting this on. Um, so I'm gonna do this real quick and then uh, turn you guys back on. All right, as you guys can see, like I said, I got them all on. Looks good. The snorkel matches really good on there. Man, it makes the front look so much different just with those little pieces on there. So, uh, I still have, uh, coming in the mail, I con contacted the company because as you guys see my other video, I messed up my splitter and side skirt. So I got my new splitter and side skirt. Hopefully should be here in the next week or two. Um, but I think I'm gonna end up keeping that black and then doing a white pinstripe at the bottom just to kind of give it a little bit of touch. I don't know yet 100% on the white pinstripe, but if it's too much, because I already got too much going on, then I'll take it off. But I'm gonna definitely look and see what it looks like. Um, but that snork those snorkels look good on there, man. So like I said, if you guys haven't got these on your car, I, de I definitely recommend getting those. I've seen them with the lights around them. I've seen them obviously that match with the headlights, but I don't know. Uh, even though I got them on my Camaro, I don't think I'm gonna do it on the uh, on the uh, Hellcat. So let me know what you guys think. But this weekend, uh, I'll give you guys a hold on. I'm gonna turn this way. This weekend, I give you guys a full video of the Hellcat walk around of all the stuff I've done to it so far and how it looks now. Um, and I'm just gonna keep adding pieces to it, man, as uh, as time comes. So uh, let me know what you guys uh, want to see in these uh, these videos. I got the third gen. Um, I've been doing work too, as you guys can see, if you've been following my channel. I got the Hellcat, uh, my wife's Jeep. Um, definitely should be done with the Jeep this week and it's coming out pretty nice. I can't show you guys it right now, but let's just say it's, it's coming out pretty good. So um, 
I should be done with it this weekend and then I'll uh, do a video as well on the reveal of what that looks like and uh there's still more 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 that's got coming for this and my uh jack subwoofer box finally came in so uh this spring break time frame i'm probably gonna throw these 24s on there because i want to be different and that's just gonna be me um but yeah just stay tuned that's all i gotta tell you guys stay tuned if you haven't smashed the subscribe button i'm telling you you want to go ahead and smash up that button because i got more videos coming for you guys as a young cast to say, I got some bangers coming for you guys. That ain't my word, right? I can't use that. It don't even sound right coming out of my mouth. I got some cool videos coming for you guys, man. So stay tuned, stay locked in. That's all I gotta. That's all I gotta tell you guys. And uh, appreciate the love and support so far. And I'm out.